the bars and the bolts are back. Yeah, it's been a, a great week for, you know, local sports with the Lightning, you know, clinching and getting into the Stanley Cup and the Rays clinching playoffs. So, and then the announcement of bars being able to go to 50%. Um, it's been a, a, a great week for hospitality. Bars are open, but capacity is capped at 50%. Business-wise, we got to work with in these guidelines and make it, you know, a safe environment for people to enjoy watching the bolts or just having a good time. For Hat Tricks, a go-to lightning bar, they have adjusted their place to make maintaining less than 50% easy. We actually, we took out tables and chairs and spread everything out accordingly. So that way, when all the tables are full, you know, we're at capacity. Chief Brian Dugan is encouraging bar owners to abide by reopening guidelines and policies. In a statement to 10 Tampa Bay, he said, quote, our officers will do this by continuing to work with business owners to ensure they understand and follow the governor's executive orders so we can all safely see the Stanley Cup come back to Tampa Bay. And bars are definitely banking on customers following the rules because they want to bring them back for all the Bolts final games and raise playoff games. So I really think that this might be title town Tampa Bay, right? Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> well, we reached out to both St. Petersburg Police Department and the Tampa Police Department, and both have said that no bars have been cited for violations since reopening Monday, but they are monitoring the situation. With bars being closed for weeks now, but restaurants being open, a lot of people in the industry have asked why bars and breweries specifically are being targeted. Well, it turns out it's all about their specific environments. Let's take a deeper dive. Infectious disease experts say bars create a loud, noisy environment where you have to lean in closely to hear the person next to you, something you can't do while maintaining six feet. They also agree when you drink alcohol, you're more likely to forget about the small practices we've adopted into our lives to help fight COVID-19. Not to mention the activities at a bar, including dancing, music, and even just drinking a drink, create an environment where not only are people not wearing masks, they're also doing activities that spread air droplets carrying COVID-19 easier and faster.